Greenfield at yogaborn.com. We're in South Windsor, Connecticut, coming to you here on uh, the internet. And uh, today I wanted to share with you a sequence that I've been doing in my own practice and been sharing with students over the last few days, and people are loving it. And to be clear, anything that I offer for you is a template for you to, you know, kind of fill in and really make it your own so it feels the best for you. And um, if we were here together in person, I could definitely offer you many more little modifications so you could find it to be absolutely delicious. But on your own, make sure that it feels pretty good. It shouldn't hurt. To begin with, I want to invite you to just come on down to your back. And you'll see here, I put a blanket underneath. Ah, just to let yourself feel comfortable. And as long as the low back is feeling pretty good here, just take a couple of breaths in and out. To feel your feet on the floor, your shoulders, and really a huge part of our practice within Yoga Born is just about us slowing down. There's a lot of rushing around in life. And so the simplest part of slowing down sounds a lot easier than it is. So we come together and we breathe and we create some time to just chill out. Here I want to invite you to hug your knee in. For me, I'll hold it either on the front of the shin or the back of the thigh. And just take a few breaths in and out. And by all means, you could always slow this down or maybe repeat it a couple of times and just see how the body evolves through this offering. And here, if it works out all right for you, I want to invite you to stretch your opposite leg out away from you. Heel away from you, toes pointing to the sky. Maybe a little press of your leg to the ground as you just take a few deep breaths in and out. And from there, to stand the foot to the ground, hands behind the thigh, interlace the fingers, shoulders give a little press to the ground and press a little bit into the back of the head. Chin is away from the chest, the throat is open. And then from there, pushing the leg just enough into the hands so we've got some dynamic resistance. And then begin to stretch the leg up to the sky. And now immediately, just starting with a bend into the knee, I want you to feel from the calf out through the heel, a nice bit of a stretch, all the while leg and hands pressing, working together. Take a deep breath in and out. From there, if it feels right, you can maybe stretch the leg out a little bit longer. The arms may go taut here, as long as it's not too much for the shoulders. And then sweetly bend the knee and allow for your outer ankle to sit on the knee and just find the, the configuration for your knee to bend that feels right for the knee and the ankle all the way down to the hip, having a nice steadiness here and just take a deep breath in and out. If you'd like, you can stretch the arms overhead and they can be really passive, just very soft here, shoulders heavy on the ground, chin away from the chest, complementing with a nice lengthening to the back of the neck as the shoulders fall a little heavier. And from here, if you'd like, the arms come to the side. If you're satisfied in this shape, stay here. I think it's a great place to be. If you'd like a little bit more, I'm going to engage the stomach muscles, maintain a little bit of an arch in the back as I pick the leg up and then hug the back of the left thigh with the hands. Same action of shoulders going towards the back of the body. I'll actually press into the back of the skull, drawing the shoulders down towards the ground. And I can definitely feel that there's a significant bit of an arching in the back of the body away from the ground. And that's going to be really monumental in helping to open up the back body. Take a nice deep breath in and out. And again, you can stay here for as little or as long as you'd like to, but I want to progress. So with that, letting the foot come down to the ground, and as the left foot touches the ground, I'm going to just walk the left foot in a little more towards the midline, towards the center of the mat, and then I'm going to cross the legs, one over the other. And here's a little bit of a teetering awareness, hugging the lower legs at each other, hugging the upper legs at each other, and just finding for a few breaths, what does that create? What kind of conditions do I now feel with the legs, the hips, the back, the abdominals, taking a nice breath in and out. And then from there, again, if you're satisfied, excellent. Be satisfied, stay here. If you'd like a little bit more, again, I'm going to engage the stomach, have a, a nice firmness there, a little bit of an arch to the low back, and then start to hug the knees in. You can hold the knees or maybe reach for the feet. 
So what I find sometimes is, is that it can be a little tricky to find the feet, so I'm actually going to take my strap that holds my yoga mat together, because I really want you to have whatever you've got lying around to help you out, and maybe you can reach for the second foot. So basically, hands are reaching for opposite feet or ankles, and over time, you may find that you don't need the straps so much as you hold it. And one thing I just want to call your attention to, often I'll see feet just kind of like pulling and really extending the ankles. I would say initially, if that feels all right for your ankles, you can stick with that for a little bit. But ultimately, we're looking to have an action where the feet can push back at the hands and give you that neutral in the ankles. And that's going to be an amazing assistance to keep your knees really happy. Take a few breaths in and out. And here you may want a little sway, a little tip from side to side. You may want to hug the knees in a little bit or press the knees away from you. And this is a great place to just let yourself arrive as you breathe in and out. Okay. And you're welcome to stay here for a little longer, depending on how it feels, or to release. For now, I'm going to release and just let the feet stand to the ground. Let the body get situated. Take a nice breath in and out. And then over to the second side. So I'm going to progress to side two. Again, holding the left knee or the back of the thigh, whichever you prefer. Just taking a few breaths in and out. Shoulders towards the back of the body. A little press into the head. Taking a big breath in and out through the nostrils. So really not looking to control the breath or restrict it. Just looking to really invite the breath to expand the body. From here, if it works well for you and it feels pretty good, extend out through the leg. Now one thing, I was remiss on saying side one, but here I want to weave it in. I lift up the head and look down. If my big toe is lining up with the center of my thigh, then I know I'm good to go. Sometimes we'll see the leg out really wide, and if so, we want to just invite the leg to be right there in that nice alignment with the hip and the upper leg. You take a few breaths in and out. Now this is a nice place to just check in with the low back, and there may be a little press of the low back to the ground or a little bit of an arch of the low back away from the ground. And I just want you to find that place that feels delicious for you. It's a really nice bit of an engagement of the tummy. It's a nice bit of a massage for the organ body. And just to take notice, how does that feel for your hips and your back? Take a deep breath in and out. And from here to stand the foot down to the ground and then to allow for the ankle to just rest. So I just want to give you a breath here. Find some symmetry here from side one to side two. And then again, to just hug the knee in, hold the back of the thigh and extend out through the leg. So here the hand holding the leg, the leg pressing at the hand, and then you begin to extend out through the leg. So really to feel that the calf muscle is stretching the heel to the sky. So you may sort of pulse in and out of this, stretching out the leg and bending the knee. Or you may just find that one place where it feels the best for you to press the thigh into the hands, reach up through the heel, shoulders towards the back plane of the body. You feel really long in the sides of the body. Just soften the eyes, soften the jaw. And from there, letting the knee bend, setting the ankle to the knee. Take a few breaths in and out. And from there, if you want to pause, you can pause. If you like this shape, you can stick with this shape. I'm going to progress with hugging the right leg in towards the body. And so here, really playing with the positioning that works the best for you. It could be the knee somewhat above the hip, or maybe drawing the knee closer towards you. And this is a place also where, for some, it can help out a lot to use the strap and to just hold the back of the thigh. So it just depends on your architecture and what's working the best for you. And breathe in and out. And so there are some days where I'll just pause in this shape for quite a while and it feels really nice. But for now, I'm going to just set the foot to the ground and then proceed to cross the legs more and more over one another. Left leg really starting to cinch in to the right leg. Lower legs, upper legs, taking a few big breaths in and out. So they're really working together. Sort of like when you watch a dance routine, not a wrestling match. You know, the unison, just so smooth, such synchronicity there. 
not getting too overwhelmed on either side, just kind of taking at a pace that feels right for you. If you like this, you can stay in this shape or have that slight engagement of the tummy, a little bit of an arch of the low back away from the ground as you start to lift feet, hug knees in, and then from there you can reach for your ankles or the tops of your feet, really trying to not wrestle around too much with it, just find that positioning, head and shoulders to the ground, ankles in a place of neutrality, knees not too overwhelmed here. So if at any time, if some of this is feeling like it's a little too much, you can maybe even just lasso the, the legs with the strap. I'm just finding the, the in-between that works the best for you as you take a few steady breaths in and out, maybe a little tip from side to side. You may pull the feet towards the shoulders, work the knees away from you and towards you. It really depends on your flexibility, and I want to encourage you to listen to your body's needs. It's going to tell you what it's like and what it's not like. As long as things are comfortably uncomfortable, nothing is painful, I would say progress just 